On the stage this week is the iconic 50th anniversary tour of Jesus Christ Superstar. Some of the cast members got up bright and early to share some time with some young people planning careers in theater, and Mike Randall was there. It's not the oldest rock opera, but it's probably one of the most memorable. This production of Jesus Christ Superstar has been resurrected for a new generation. James Delisco Beeks plays Judas in the show. In case you're not up on the New Testament, Judas is kind of a bad guy. I, I don't see him as a, as a bad guy. I see him as someone who was misunderstood. James and a few other cast members performed one of the show tunes for some theater pros and theater students with a talk back afterwards. I play a soul girl. I'm one of Peter's accusers and I am a Roman. It was a chance to hear about the cast members' journey in theater and inspire future Broadway stars. I really want to inspire the younger generations to, you know, do, do what they dream to do like, like I did. Mission accomplished for theater major Ashley Di Pasquale. It was definitely inspiring because it's wonderful to hear how they all came from different places and were able to overcome their fears and, and love what they do. Jasmine Schmenk, Kirsten Hodgins, and Sandy Red shared what it takes to play the soul girls in the show. You just gotta have, have some soul stink already in you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but you're all so coordinated. There, there must be like it's some prior planning you know what? or something. I think it's something that we don't even know about. I think it's something that our music director probably has some type of eye or something for. It's I a vibe. It. Yeah. It was a day for photo ops, inspiration, and just a little silliness. The show runs through the weekend, and rumor has it that this is not your grandparents' version of Jesus Christ Superstar. <laughs> I think they were talking about me. This show came out when I was in high school. The show may be a half century old, but the story it's based on goes back 2,000 years. Now that's some kind of staying power. For the Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.